Hello fellow diecast car collectors, Matt here once again. Got a little mixture of everything in here. Got some Hot Wheels, a couple Auto Worlds, and some green lights. One green light we are going to open. So we're going to get right into it with the Hot Wheels. We move some stuff around here. First one we're going to show is the Custom 70s Honda in 600 in this red color i don't know if i have it in the any other colors but this red really grabbed me and that's why i picked it up cute little car so i'll put that one there okay pull that one off to the side so we get a better look at it nice little car i like the little wheels on her so, it's this red color. We got the uh, chrome uh, base on it. It's got headlight tampos and a grill tampo on it. Really nice. Got their marker running lights on the bottom. We got a license plate on this one. Tail lights. Looks like TG600, maybe? I don't know what that little yellow one says. I can't tell. If y'all know what it says, please comment below on it. Really neat car. It's got a black interior, it looks like, or a gray interior. A smoked window. That's what it looks like to me. It could be clear on it. It's kind of hard to tell on this little tiny car. Especially in my big giant hands. But happy to add it to my collection. We'll put that one back over here. Next one. I'm not going to open this one up. Because I don't know how I would just or how I would store it when it opened, but the Honda Super Cub. Now I do have three of these. One I did open. Uh, I don't have it close by, but I took one of these and uh, made it a keychain for uh, my scooter keys. My scooter key. So uh, happy that Hot Wheels is doing some scooter like diecast so that's kind of cool and that's what this basically is is a scooter it is a shifting scooter and all that stuff it's capable of 55 miles an hour running around town i do not own one of these but really cool happy to add these to the collection okay next we're going to get into the two auto worlds that i have First one I picked up at Hobby Lobby. This one's version A. It's the 6, 76 Pontiac Firebird TA, the 50th anniversary edition. In the black and gold. Uh, no, yes, it is black and gold, but the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am was actually a 77, so it may have the same colors as you see here. I don't have a 77 Trans Am he handy, but you can see that single headlights where the 77 had double square headlights instead of these two round ones and a different style front nose. So that's how you can tell the difference between the 76 and the 77. So other than that, the rear ends pretty much the same on the 77. As the uh, 76. Really happy to add this to the collection. I don't know why they have it as the 50th anniversary. Because Trans Ams and Firebirds didn't come out until the late 60s, early 70s. So, Re really happy to add it to uh, the collection. Unless they're talking about the 50th anniversary of Pontiac itself. But happy to add this little car to my collection. Next, I am going to show you, let's just drop everything, <laughs> is the uh, 67 Plymouth GTX in this white and, white and medium copper poly. That's the roof color here. Really like the way this looks. Pops. I, I think it pops pretty good to me. Really like it. This is the... Uh, 
version A. I wonder what the version B looks like. I have not seen that one. This is the first time I've seen this one. Thought this was really cool, so I decided to add it to the collection. Ha really happy I did. Again, we're not opening this one. We only have one of the Trans Am and one of these, or the Firebird, as they put on that package. Basically, the Trans Am and Firebird are actually the same color car, so... I'm happy to add this 67 Plymouth GTX to the collection. Next, we're going into green light. This is not the one we're opening. But out of the uh, Series 2 Great Outdoors, picked up the 82 Chevy C10 Silverado with the truck bed camper tent on it. Really happy to add this to the my collection, again, another 41-year-old vehicle that I'd love to have. I'm a big truck guy. So happy to add this to the collection. It's like a black and silver color, maybe, or a dark blue. That's what it looks like to me. But really happy to add this one to my collection. That's the 82 Chevy Silverado C10. I don't know why they put the C10 in front of it. <laughs> Okay, next we have the 84 GMC S15 Sierra Classic out of the All Terrains uh, collection or series, or whatever you want to call because this is series 14 for it. We'll put that one there. Actually, it can pretty much stand by itself. But I got another one. So this is the one we're going to open up. I got the hand. I should have pre-opened this up before I did this, right, guys? I got the handy dandy scissors here. Okay, along the bottom. I got a pair of sharper scissors. Okay, along the bottom here. We'll cut along the side here. That should be good enough, right? And it is. Because that's just going in the garbage anyway. Now we get that out. Now we get a better look at this little truck. I don't get to open too many green lights, so I have to get to open one. So this is the uh, I don't know if it's a four-wheel drive version of the little Sierra or not, because I don't say it. And it got out in the all-terrain. You think they'd have the four-wheel drive version? Of it, but they don't look like they do. Got the little crew cab on it. Got a red interior. There's our front grill of the little truck. Can I get a better shot of that? There it is. Looks like the hood opens, but or it's one its own piece. I don't think the hood opens. No, no, no. The hood does not open. So, but it's a cool little truck nonetheless. Plus, there's our back end of it. Nice little tailgate area. Nice little truck all together, really. So happy to add this one to the collection. Wheels are pretty decent on there. Cause I know I watch a few other channels that do all this stuff. Wheels can, can be wonky and all that stuff. So happy to add this little truck to my collection. A free, a free uh, open vehicle. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Until you, I talk to you all on the next one. Happy hunting and collecting out there. Bye-bye.